you never lose the contact from the bow to uh, the cork. Uh, we have to really understand that legato means also uh, to sing between the notes. It's not just the notes. So please don't don't sing in a percussive way. You are not a keyboard. You're not a piano. Oh, 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 or think uh, like the sound of a flute. But I think that the example of a bow, of a bow, is the best mm -hmm. one to uh, get the image in your brain of what means actually to phonate endlessly. We need to remember mm -hmm. us, to speak to us, to phonate always, 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 always. You understand? You want to try? Mm -hmm. I don't know if you hear it, but it, there is a sort of little, how can I say? Little baby glissando portamento between the notes. I don't know if you hear it. Mm -hmm. oh, it's not. Oh, it's not that. Mm -hmm. But there is a connection, actually. Mm -hmm. Very kind, very gentle, with a lot of grace. Oh, do you hear it? In that direction, in that direction, uh, we have to find uh, the balance. It should sound uh, not like a glissando, but there is a connection between the notes. It's important yeah. that our mind is also focused on that. What happens between the notes? Mm -hmm. In order to uh, phonate always, 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 always. Never stop phonating. Uh, we have to speak to ourselves. We have to remind, don't stop phonating. You understand? Mm -hmm. It's very important. Yeah. And you get the legato, yeah? Yeah, let's work on that. Yeah, let's try again. Mm -hmm. huh? Thank you so much. Huh?